Welcome back, Ref Show Part 2 with Messrs Hackett and Lawrenson. The North London derby didn't even make it onto Part 1. Well, it would have done, but for the fact that it was the first game of the weekend and it kind of recedes in memory. Mm. And what were big headlines at the time, maybe smaller headlines now. However, Arsenal 2, Spurs 0. However much Arsenal deserved to win that game, uh, Mark. Uh, that first goal, I mean, yeah. it could have been ruled out twice. But don't, don't yeah. you just love it? Because I think Arsenal's last game was at City, Man City, and Wenger was moaning like hell about the, the yeah. incidents, about the foul on Sterling, I think, Monreal, mm. wasn't yes. it? Yes. And yeah. about the offside, what, whatever, and all of a sudden it's in his favour, and he saw these. He did indeed. It shows yeah. it evens out, though, doesn't it, as well? In yeah, although I don't, I, don't, I don't generally sort of subscribe to that. Does it really even out? I, I don't, because at the time you think it doesn't, but I don't, no. I don't yeah. think it does, does it? No. This was Mike Dean in charge, mm. uh, usually a safe pair of hands, but uh, just on that goal, I mean, the free kick award for the first goal, uh, the, the well, the I first mean, goal, I mean, it's not even a... I always say to referees, power. don't explain mm. why you've given a free kick visually, because what he's saying is, there's a pull. Yeah. Well, there was nothing. It wasn't <laughs> a foul. Get it wrong. It, so it was, it was totally wrong on that. And then, of course, it, the ball comes across, the player's offside, offside, puts it in the back of the net. Mm. Uh, compounds the old the old scenario, but despite that, Arsenal deserved to win. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Tottenham was just a non-performance, wasn't it? Yeah. So I don't. Pochettino had a moan up, but it, he sort of it was a little bit sort of yeah, but wasn't it? It was a bit half-hearted, I thought. Well, uh, knowing that his team were poor, I think that was a whole thing. He sort <clears> of went <throat> yeah, yeah, and then he was like. Mm. Okay, no doubt whatsoever in Craig Pawson's game, Manchester United four, Newcastle one. Uh, we can't query the result being affected. However, um, there should have been a penalty to Manchester United as well in that game. Lukaku wrestled by uh, Kieran Clark. Well, uh, Craig, should have Craig, could have been sent off as a result of that. Well, Craig right. is 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 improving slowly. Mm. Um, he's, 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 as the games come, he, he seems to mature a bit, but he's so laid back. I mean, he can't allow where the shirt is almost ripped off, off a back. big player like Lukaku. Everybody's yeah. seen it, and he's completely ignored. He can't do that. No. Referees okay. have got to see those things and act. Talking of which, how on earth did uh, Lee Probert not, uh, not see the, uh, the build-up uh, to the corner that produced a goal in that, that Bournemouth 4, uh, mm. Huddersfield nil? I mean, it wasn't just a foul, was it? Well, just yeah. the fact that he lunged as well, wasn't yeah. it? Even if, he's, even if you're thinking that his view is obscured, you could just see the way the guy went into tackle. It was Charlie like, Daniels, wasn't it? It was That's Charlie Daniels. You just go, and? Yeah. Which bit about that didn't you kind of get? I think that, I, you know, when you look at Prover, he's come back from a long period yeah. of injury. He's, he is miles off the pace. He's a long way from this particular Would he incident. not have done the fitness test, Keith? Though? Well, he'll passed the fitness test, but... Passing the fitness test, you can train for that and pass. Um, I think that when you get into a game situation, well, it's that speed off. You know, it, it used to be about sort of endurance running, refereeing. Now it's all about impact. You've got mm, to be explosive. Uh, they've sprinting. got to be close to proxim uh, proximity to play. There was also an offside goal. In but that, he had it. He had it. Yeah. I think. Balls. You know, where are the assistant referees? In in lots of things that we talked about this 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 afternoon. Yeah. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, the assistant referees could have come in and helped those officials. Mm. Having said all that, it's great to see Callum Wilson get a hat-trick. You know, a fellow who's had terrible fortune with injuries. Well, he did both ACLs, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. His right one up and then his left or the other way around. Yeah. I mean, just to come back was, was fantastic. Terrific. And, it was and this, this was, I don't know if you saw, the uh, last week seems ages ago since the Premier League before the weekend. But yeah. it, Bournemouth played at Newcastle. Right. Do you see the chance he missed? Right. I'm trying, trying You're probably to probably you know, Oh my goodness. It yeah. was it was so much di more difficult to miss it than actually yes. yeah. score. So uh, it's good for it's great for him. He was a very promising player and can be again, you know. And he was the one player. they took from a lower league who's actually trained yes. on. Yeah. from Coventry. Yes think, he was. He? Yes he was. Uh, yeah. 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 Well it's great to see. I hope he has better better luck this time mm -hmm. and carries that on. There was a Sending off in that Simon Francis two yellows, which is not 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 really an issue to talk yeah. about. Let's get on to the uh, championship. Several things there it kicked off, of course, Friday evening with a non-event game up in in Lancashire, which was a nil-nil draw, boring. But uh, <laughs> in the one that wasn't on TV, Burton won Sheffield United three. Explosive form 
still from, from the Blades and Chris Wilder. It doesn't surprise you. I think you were one of those that early season thought that this could happen. I just, I saw them play and I just kind of thought, knowing the championship, we're watching so much of Preston, I thought, they're going to do well, mm. these lads. And um, they've done fantastic. Where they're yeah. obviously the injury to Coots now yeah. stops them a little bit in their tracks. Very influential uh, player, pulls the strings, hub of the team. Uh, but, you know, regardless of that, it's about an individual and a horrific injury uh, that he okay. suffered in that game. Um, you know, the images were, were graphic of it. Uh, you know, he, there was a debate, <coughs> there always is on social media, about whether there was any intent in the challenge from Marvin Sordell. But the, the consensus seems to be, and the managers accept right, this, was it. an attempt to block a shot. And there's been a very, very unfortunate mm. result in that. Although Chris Wilder did make the point, should have been a penalty to his team. For Which sure. I think we should have been a penalty. But it's been, with, did all the players gather around the injured player? Yeah, they did. Both, See, both teams. We were always told, walk, walk away. Don't go anywhere near him. Because, the, I mean, I saw, I said you before about Kevin McDonald did it at, for Liverpool at um, Southampton and he's, half of his leg was dangling in his sock. Jim right. Beglin, mm. that famous one against Everton. Yeah, yeah. That was and this, all our lot would go to you, get out just because once you look at it, Alan, and then you've got yeah. to play on, it's like, oh, that could have been me. And you do have yeah. five or ten minutes before it kind of it, it leaves your memory bank, you know. This, this was shortly before half-time. Yeah. So, uh, See, I noticed it yesterday, what, what, the Watford game, when Anatovic got injured, yeah. all the players went to see yeah, if it was did. all right. You kind of get that, but then you, yeah. you sort of don't get it. Just like, look, let, let them get on with it and let them, yeah. the medical boys sort it, and but just don't look at it. He was, he was right. in agony, wasn't he? Absolutely. Yeah, he was yeah, in yeah, absolute yeah, yeah, agony. You know, and everybody wishes Paul Coote's best for yeah. a speedy yeah. recovery. Hate yeah. to see injuries like that. Obviously, uh, <laughs> we hate to see Sheffield Wednesday nil Bristol City nil. It was our misfortune to see that over the weekend. Tony Harrington was in charge. Oh, sorry, right for Wednesday, a, a nil. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they didn't Mr. have a single. He's a bit quiet, isn't he? I he was, was there. He was, I was, was there. Not a single That's what shot. I mean. He's time. a bit quiet now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There were two penalties uh, appeals in this game. The first half, uh, Jordan Rose was wrestled down. I no question. That was a penalty. Has to be a penalty. An easy one. Second half. Now this is the one that's divided opinion. Barry Bannon is going through. There is some contact, okay, he goes down. You're, you're in the no penalty camp. Obviously. Yeah, because I think Bannon moved towards the, the player to make that contact. Right. So I wouldn't have expected it. I think that overall, I was disappointed in, in Harrington. I thought he was weak. I think, it, you know, when you've got players, uh, Hooper for example, consistently coming up and challenging him on every decision, there's a mm. point at which you say, right, yeah, sure. move on. Or there's a, a point at which you say, right, yellow card stuff, stuffed up with his nose. Mm. To make the point. And even when Bannon was wanting a penalty kick, you noticed he ran half the length of the pitch and then had this great debate with the referee. And people around me are saying, get on with it. Get on with the mm. game. Um, Another thing there, whether you think it was a penalty or not, contact in the area does not necessarily mean it has to be a penalty. Is that a point worth, well, worth raising? Well, I, th I think the point that comes out of this is it's a contact game yeah. we don't give free kicks in midfield all over the contact. place no and i think here uh, this is part and parcel of the game you, what you've got to make your judgment on yeah. is is the challenge careless mm. is it reckless yeah. and mm. and in that sense that's the judgment and i think for any young referee coming through it's like a good midfield player when you see quality midfield players quality defenders mark was one um, they have time they give themselves time to be able to read the game. Refereeing's no different. Don't mm. jump in. Mm. I'm right. just laughing at the fact that Sheffield Wednesday have got 17 strikers and drew a blank. <laughs> <laughs> That's only 16, actually. Sorry, 16. <laughs> it feels God. like 17. Yeah. I've got to tell you. I I'm knew he'd get <laughs> It was boring. It was really, really boring. That wasn't the word you used uh, oh. when you emailed me over no, the weekend. No, no. <laughs> right. I mean, in fairness, um, Bristol came Good with a view, we're going we're gonna to defend. They were we, very strong. We're going to get a, mm. a break, we're going to take it. Yeah, yeah. Really, really did a good job. Good, good big coaching. Ga big game in the championship, obviously a televised game as well, Leeds-Middlesbrough. Good to see Leeds back on the winning trail for their manager, I think, because I think he's shown some good things, Thomas Christensen. 2-1 mm. against Middlesbrough. Uh, Gary Monk having a bad return eventually to uh, Ellen Road. Penalty call in the, in that one uh, that brought Middlesbrough back into the game from a corner six of one, half a dozen of the other. But the six of one occurred before the yeah. half a dozen of the other. <laughs> yeah. So it should have been a free kick. Yeah. It should. Yeah. Right. 
That was key straight out in that game. Funny, yeah. this, this, I can never get over this. That if, you, if you actually pull someone's shirt or whatever you do, and you yeah. can't go, I didn't do it, it's like, I don't oh, know. It drives, just, it drives me mad. Yeah, well, it's it going on all the time. Mad. It's horrible to see in the of game, it isn't it? Is. What's the it's shocking. Well, well, you'll start us off with another campaign against grappling. But uh, anyway, yeah, we've still seen less of it. Leave that one with you. Yeah, we have seen <laughs> less of it. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, I, I can't understand why referees go in and say stop it. No, because indeed. that's a complete waste of time. Simple solution. Thanks very much, guys. Just finally on the show, um, Cardiff two, Brentford nil. Neil Warnock's team going well in the championship. That's not the reason I mention it. It's to relay the good news. If you missed it that uh, Neil's wife, uh, Sharon, has been given all the, the all clear from cancer. So Neil, who's a member of the UR, the ref team, a columnist, yep. we're absolutely delighted mm -hmm. for all the family about that news. Great news. Right. Yeah. Cheers, chaps. See you for another ref show Thanks. next week. Bye now.